Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello, hi, Virendra. कैसे हो ठीक हूँ सर कैसी गई दिवाली सर आपकी बढ़िया एकदम बढ़िया हम लोग की भी बढ़िया गई सर नाइस अब दिवाली बीत गई सर अब रेगुलर क्लास करना है रेगुलर क्लासेस यस सर बहुत छोटे हो गए बहुत बहुत मजे कर रहे हो तुम सब हाँ सर अब रेगुलर क्लास करनी है सर क्योंकि सर सब छोटा है ना असाइनमेंट किया ना कुछ किया सर पांच दिन में कुछ पता ही नहीं चला सर या विल ट्राई टू कवर अप थिंग्स यस सर यस सो दिवाली वाज गुड इंडिया वन अगेंस्ट पाकिस्तान एंड एवरीथिंग वाज गुड सो विल कंटिन्यू नाउ I hope everybody has joined. I see only forty-five students have joined. It's too low. Hello, sir. Hello. Ah, uh, sir, कल क्या कल क्या सुबह से वो wake up to code वाला classes चलेंगी? Wake up to code. I have to think, guys. Actually, like. Uh, I'm too much messed up about these days. My schedule has become little bit hectic, uh, consuming lot of time, lot of things. Ah, uh, सोचना पड़ेगा, guys, about that. अगर सर वो classes चलती हैं, okay? If uh, what? अगर सर वो classes चलती हैं, तो आप डेढ़ घंटे डेढ़ घंटे के आसपास हमारी आप अपना पढ़ा लेना और आधे घंटे के आसपास हम लोग का एक मतलब assignments question ले लीजिएगा, please. नहीं उसमें मैं लेता तो असाइनमेंट से रिलेटेड ही क्वेश्चंस हूँ मैं अपना नहीं पढ़ाता हूँ जो कोर्स का पूरा करने का वो मैं सिर्फ इन क्लासेस में करता हूँ लाइक वो सिर्फ समझने का ही है ओके असाइनमेंट आई वांटेड टू टेक I think it was a four, Ashok. From Ashwin, it was a four. My Diwali was good, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Rahul. Oh, uh, sir, one who who yesterday the automatic lecture started was. Yes. Oh, uh, sir, his attendance didn't look good. So, any issues will come, sir? I don't think so, because yesterday they didn't attend lectures attendance. I think. मतलब मैंने स्लॉट डिलीट नहीं करे मुझे मुझे भी ध्यान नहीं रहा और आई थॉट कि कोऑर्डिनेटर्स टेक कर कर रहे होंगे बट इट्स ओके क्योंकि सर ये मतलब अटेंडेंस में काउंट नहीं हो रहा सर इसलिए अटेंडेंस परसेंटेज डाउन हो रहा है तो आई आई डोंट थिंक इट विल बी अ वेरी बिग इशू मतलब देखो यही होगा ना अगर दो आपकी कम है तो सभी की वो कम होंगे ओके Uh, we'll see what to do. सबसे ज़्यादा मिठाई, सबसे ज़्यादा रसगुल्ले खाए। Thank you, sir. Okay, sorting हम कर रहे थे and I do not know like lot of things we did. So today we want to start with another sorting, guys, which is I think merge sort, I believe. Okay. Give me a minute, please. Give me a minute. Shivani, I don't have any official WhatsApp group of Newton. Run blockchain is a. Uh, like uh, like currently <coughs> very new technology and it's like 
వెరీ గుడ్ టెక్నాలజీ రిలేటెడ్ టు బ్లాక్ చైన్ మెయిన్లీ దీస్ క్రిప్టోస్ అండ్ అదర్ అప్లికేషన్స్ వర్క్ ఇట్ వర్క్స్ ఆన్ డీసెంట్రలైజ్డ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ సో సో ఫార్ లైక్ వట్ ఎవర్ వీ డూ ఇట్స్ కంట్రోల్డ్ బై సమ్ సెంట్రల్ సిస్టమ్ రైట్ లైక్ అగర్ వాట్సాప్ యాప్ ఉస్ కా కోయి సెంట్రల్ సిస్టమ్ హోగా జో ఉసే కంట్రోల్ కర్ రే ఫర్ ఎనీ వెబ్సైట్ ఆర్ ఎనీథింగ్ సో ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ బ్లాక్ చైన్ ఈస్ మెయిన్లీ ఆన్ డీసెంట్రలైజేషన్ సో లైక్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ గివింగ్ కంప్లీట్ మెయిన్ యాక్సెస్ టు అ సెంట్రల్ సిస్టమ్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ ఎవ్రీ నోడ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు ఇన్ దట్ నెట్వర్క్ విల్ హ్యావ్ దట్ యాక్సెస్ ఓకే అండ్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ verification happens on all those nodes and if you are part of that network you can also make your own vote to whatever the changes you want to do so it's something like that decentralize the main concept is that so what i want to do bro dekho sab kuch ho sakta hai i also do not know like very depth about this okay much sort is this much sort what is happening guys okay here we have <coughs> okay సో క్లౌడ్ కంప్యూటింగ్ ఇస్ లైక్ జైసే ఆప్ అభి కంప్యూటింగ్ కర్ రో అపనే సిస్టమ్ పర్ సో వెరీ లార్జ్ డేటా కే లే ఓర్ బహుత్ సా రిసోర్సెస్ చేయే హో అగే తో హమ్ యే ఎక్సెస్ కాలీ అపనే కంప్యూటర్స్ నే కా సక్తే వీ కెన్ నాట్ వెరీ లార్జ్ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఓర్ ఓన్ వెరీ లార్జ్ డేటా అండ్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ హ్యావింగ్ దోస్ రిసోర్సెస్ పర్మనెంట్లీ టు అస్ వీ కెన్ యూస్ క్లౌడ్ కంప్యూటింగ్ ఓకే సో వీ కెన్ గెట్ దోస్ రిసోర్సెస్ Uh, available dynamically for our own purpose so that's mainly related to cloud computing okay let's see oh man guys now focus here on uh, this uh, more sort okay guys as we were learning about uh, so many sorting algorithms today we are going to, we have learned about insertion sort where we used to do what in already sorted array we used to insert the unsorted element like that okay uh, in this we used to copy the values towards right and at the correct position we used to insert the unsorted value in bubble sort we used to compare two values and uh, we will keep on shifting the largest value to the end okay that was bubble sort so we are kind of like bubbling up the values the time complexity for both the algorithms was n square this also was n square and this insertion sort was also n square now we are going to look up to merge sort now <coughs> merge sort is one of the good algorithm one of the quickest algorithm i do not know why my pen note is not working guys yeah okay why is it so There's something is wrong okay cool so it is one of the fastest algorithm it works on divide and conquer algorithm divide and conquer approach i do not know the exact spelling of conquer guys but you can understand so now guys i am going to explain you how this merge sort works so firstly let's try to take an example let's take the similar example that we were taking earlier 52173 something like that okay let's take array which has value 5 2 1 7 
three and uh, maybe we can take some more values let's say nine six and let's say four something like that okay guys now in merge sort what happens we keep on dividing our task into subtasks okay now guys do you remember that one of the algorithm we talked about in two pointers was to merge two arrays merge two sorted arrays right remember ye problem sabhi ko yaad hai guys ki agar do array already sorted ho agar in dono ko merge karna hai in time complexity we go of n plus m so that can be done right right guys do you remember this approach how we can do this so this merging algorithm this merging algorithm we will take help of this algorithm to solve our problem to sort using merge sort that is why it is called merge sort we are using here merging algorithm so you will see how we can achieve this so firstly guys we used to divide our array into sub parts okay so firstly we will divide our array into two equal halves so here our half will be 5 217 and 1 2 3 4 okay guys these are not equal halves okay agar even hoga to equally split ho jayega agar odd even hoga to ek mein zyada hoga ek pe kam still it can be done right okay so got this much part guys so now what i will be doing i will be splitting my arrays into two parts one will be this 5 2 1 7 another will be 3 9 and 6 and 4 okay now again this is my one sub array and again i will divide it into two equal parts okay now i'm going to divide this array again into two equal parts so which will be here it will be 5 and 2 right and here it will be 1 and 7 here it will be 3 and 9 and here it will be 6 and 4 cool guys this much is clear so far now finally this individual sub arrays will be divided into indi individual elements which will be 5 2 individual arrays 1 and 7 and this will be 3 and this will be 9 cool this will be 6 and this will be 4 cool guys this much is everybody is able to understand this itna sabhi ko samajh mein aaya guys very simple to abhi maine kya kara apne array ko chote chote hisson mein divide kara simply we followed this divide part now we will perform conquer now you know now you know that this individual element array 5 is already sorted right agar koi ek single element hai guys then it will be already sorted right If our array is of size one, it will be already sorted, right? Okay. Very simple, Abhishek. I just divided my arrays into two two parts. This into two parts. Again, this array into two parts. Two parts, two halves, equal equal halves. Okay, that's all. Now you know that this five is a single array, single element array. So this is already sorted, right? And this two is already sorted. this one is already sorted these individual elements are already sorted cool we shall we cannot sort 2d how we can we sort 2d you tell me how can we sort 2d arrays there should be some condition only okay now try to understand now we will merge these two values we will merge these 5 and 2 together how you know What we used to do? Five and two. So, दोनों में से छोटा value कौन सा है? अगर मैं I और J pointers इसमें use करता हूँ, so what will happen? This will two will come first and then five, right? 
here also one and seven will come as it is now using this two five and one seven we will go back now do you guys remember the merging algorithm how merging algorithm used to work right guys you used to remember ये मर्ज एल्गोरिदम सभी को याद है ये कैसे काम करता है लाइक टू एरे अगर ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड है वी कैन गेट द थर्ड एरे विच इज ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड एंड यूजिंग ऑल द एलिमेंट्स राइट सो यू वी विल यूज सेम थिंग हेयर सो नाउ यू कैन सी दिस टू फाइव इज सॉर्टेड एंड वन सेवन इज सॉर्टेड ओके देन ऑल्सो प्रिंस सिंपली यू कैन यहां पर थ्री एलिमेंट्स ले लो वन टू थ्री ओके and you can take two elements here it does not matter ya fir yahan pe two elements le lo aur yahan pe three right ek taraf ek extra element le lo still it will work okay i have already explained this now guys simply what we will do we will use two pointers here one is i here and j here you remember this thing now what we will do which is smaller i is smaller or j is smaller jth part is smaller right one so we will put one in our output and increase j j will come here right now which is smaller j is smaller or i is smaller i is smaller right so 2 will come here and i will increase now i is smaller or j is smaller i is smaller which is 5 okay and finally i'm out of my loop i will put remaining values which is this 7 okay so this will be my array that will be formed got it so we are using completely the merge part guys okay i will show you more examples then it will be clear now try to understand this 3 and 9 it is already sorted it will be like this only 4 and 6 okay now try to understand i merged these two elements here okay i merged these two now using this 2 5 1 7 i merged this 1 2 5 7 this 3 and 9 4 and 6 and now i'm trying to merge these two now try to follow guys i is here okay so this is like my array a try to understand this is like my array a this is like my array b and i'm trying to get my output array which is like array c okay and now i is here j is here you remember in merging what we used to do try to remember this approach guys how to how do we used to get okay try to remember this approach hum kya karte the jaise ye 1 4 7 20 30 1 3 3 9 hai so we used to get we set i here and j here which is smaller if both are equal i will put both one and one both here okay if <coughs> one is smaller if i at part is smaller Or jth part. Currently, jth part is smaller. Three is smaller than fourth, so three is in output. Three j gets here. Okay. Now, which is smaller? Four is smaller or three is smaller? Three is smaller, so three is in output. J gets here. Four is smaller or nine is smaller? Four. So I gets increase. Seven is smaller or nine? Seven is smaller. I increases. Nine is smaller or twenty? Nine is smaller. Then finally, this twenty and thirty here. Okay. So we used to follow this approach, right? Everybody, very simple. now we will follow the same approach here guys i is here j is here which is smaller 3 is smaller so 3 is in my output i increases i is not here i is here now which is smaller i is smaller or j 4 okay j is smaller j increases which is smaller 9 or 6 6 j comes out of the loop now we will push the remaining values which is this 9 okay so my output finally becomes this guys can refer to this and now finally using these two arrays we can form our final array which is i starts from here j starts from here okay so which is smaller 1 or 3 1 is smaller i increases here 2 is smaller or 3 2 i again increases okay 5 is smaller or 4 i mean 5 is smaller or 3 3 j increases 
okay four is smaller or five four j increases again i is smaller right so five comes here i increases six is smaller six comes here okay j increases seven is smaller or nine seven finally we just i just came here we come out of loop we will push the remaining values which is nine cool so using this now guys using this you can see my array is completely sorted now got it you can see i have my sorted array everybody understood this part so far got it एवरीबडी क्योंकि हम मर्जिंग एल्गोरिदम ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके हैं तो हम ये सिंपल वही अप्रोच यूज कर रहे हैं वी विल ट्राई टू फर्स्टली कीप ऑन डिवाइडिंग अवर एरे अंटिल अंटिल वी रीच अ सिंगल एलिमेंट हेयर ओके दैट इज अ सिंगल एलिमेंट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल स्टार्ट कॉन्करिंग द रिजल्ट ओके नाउ गाइस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी काइंड ऑफ ट्रिकी and you have to understand carefully like what is happening okay before moving on ahead so guys we can solve this problem using recursion so firstly i have to tell you something uh, related to recursion uh, so i will tell you that not recursion simply about function so let me put here in test okay guys so let's say i have a value here and let's say x or a let's take x only let's say x is equals to 10 okay and in fun method what i did i just did uh x is equals to 50 i'm not returning anything not doing anything just i set x is equals to 50 now if i try to print here x out x okay firstly i'm printing then i'm calling my fun okay i'm passing here x and then trying to call this once again okay i need to make this static okay cool so now guys tell me what will be the output in both the cases here firstly i am printing system dot out dot println x which is having value 10 then i am trying to print system dot out dot println x okay so what will the values here will it be 10 and 50 so let's try to run this and see So currently you can see it is not ten and fifty guys. It is only ten and ten. Why is it so? Because this int x variable is limited to this scope only. Okay. Yahi par iski value yahan par aari hai. I'm not returning it. Neither this parameter is only for this method. It is not for this main method. Okay. even i can change the name here right int a a x does not mean that this x and this x are same no these variables are not same guys the value of this is getting copied inside this okay even if i try to run this now still it will work fine and it will give me 10 10 got it everybody understood this okay ye sabhi ko clear hai now let me try to do Simply, sort of whatever the value I will pass here, it will remain as it is only inside main. If I am writing here x and x here, this x and this x are different. ये दोनों अलग अलग हैं. ये दोनों same नहीं हैं. Okay, the value ten is getting copied inside this x. Okay, that is what is happening here. Let me mark it as x only. Now, guys, there is a funny thing. You will try to understand. Now you know this. Okay, now instead of this x, now I'm taking a array. Okay. Now here, 
inside my main what i did just like this x variable i'm taking here a array let's take int a equals to let's take some value 1 2 3 okay let's use a for loop to print all the values 4 int i is equals to 0 semicolon i is less than n semicolon i plus plus okay a out a of i and n equals to a of dot length cool now let's call fun array pass a and then i simply try to print these values once again okay yes mahesh you can use for each loop also now guys you can see i have taken this array and inside this also, I'm using the same name. Named should not matter. You can take any name. Now, I will change the values here. I will say a of 0 is 10. Okay, a of 1 equals to 20. A of 2 equals to 30. Cool. So, guys, here it was 1, 2, 3. Okay, now inside this method, I just change the values. A of 0 is equals to 10, A of 1 is equals to 20, A of 2 is equals to 30. So now what will happen? I'm printing it, then calling this method, then again printing it. So what will be the outputs in both the cases, guys? Come on, tell me. Come on, guys, tell me what it will be. Okay, so in X, you saw that the value was not changing. I was passing here 10, changed it to 50, but it did not change. Now, let's try to run this in the form case of array. So now, guys, this time you can see this time the values are changing. This time the values are changing. It's not remaining the same. Why is it so? Okay, even if I change the uh, variable also here, instead of A, let's use B. Ah, that's the good question. How? No, no, it's not related to muted or unmuted. Uh, don't use that word incorrectly, guys, anywhere. Mutables are only strings. Okay, so you can see even if I change the array, its name to B, still the values of A is getting changed inside array, inside the main also. So why is it so? Why is it so, guys? Yeah, Mahesh, I'm trying to change the values, but I'm changing inside another array, just like this value x. Okay, so the case is, guys, you need to remember this concept. Yeah. So in Java or in most of the languages, there is something called... Where did I kept uh, remaining things? Okay, let me put its name. Java, like that. Okay, so usually, what happens? We have two different ways to call, call a method. Okay, so one is called call by value. One is called call by reference. Okay, guys, so what happens in call by value? The value gets copied inside. Uh, how should I write this, guys? Instead of writing, let's write. values are passed as parameters okay the addresses we can say addresses or references are passed as parameters okay and original
variables are not affected variables gets changed okay so examples are like simply int bool or something like that okay yeah then it's like uh, pointers in c but here in c c++ we can manually pass reference here we cannot pass it manually okay it's in inbuilt only it's in arrays arrays objects okay etc so guys try to understand <laughs> so in var variables what happens when i'm passing this x is equal to 10 what happens this 10 value 10 is getting copied inside this x okay getting copied in the x okay so let me try to explain you what is happening here so when i say let me name uh, this separately then you will try to understand this is y okay and this is x just like this is a and b so here what happened guys uh, this in main we had int x okay fun y equals to 50. So when we talk about variables guys, what happens in these simple variables? These are different variables. These both have different memory allocation. Okay. This is the memory allocation for x and this is the memory allocation for y. Okay. So now if I say x is equals to 10, it has values here 10. Right. Now if I say y equals to 50, it has value as 50 so you see it is not affecting currently this 10 right right guys it is not affecting this while in arrays when we talk about arrays it its memory allocation happens differently guys okay if i say int a equals to uh, some values 10 20 30 okay and when i'm calling this fun int let's say different name b okay and i'm trying to call this fun and passing here a so now guys when i'm passing this to b b name what is happening how is the memory allocation being done firstly from the main a uh, array a of size of integer size 3 alloc is allocated for this array now how arrays work guys it can have some data like it is 10 20 30 okay and all of these memory allocations has different different addresses like the address of this can be something 1001 1, 1002 1003 and this a this a points to the first address okay first address and when we pass this a here inside this function call so its address this address gets passed into this not this values we can we cannot pass three values here we pass the address of this first location okay and what happens now this b this b b is also starting pointing to this only okay this first location now if i say here b of 1 is equals to let's say 500 so what it will you do guys b is also pointing to this a is also pointing to this so for our indexing it becomes the indexing starts from 0 1 2 okay but 
computer in the end takes care of this 0 1 2 by referring to the next location 1 plus location to this first location okay so here it will override to 500 so it is not allocating separate memory for this b it is using this a1 only okay so that is why it is changing the original content of a only or a also so here you guys if i b ke koi bhi content change karta hu to a ke bhi ho jayenge right right guys got it now everyone is able to understand how what is the meaning of call by value and what is the meaning of call by reference got it guys everybody what simple hai guys <coughs> try to understand what happens in call by value and call by reference when we <coughs> use some simple variables call by value gets invoked okay matlab bahut simple ye jo value hai value 10 ye copy ho jati hai hamare y mein then it will take only a single value within it will work as call by value okay but if we are passing a complete array agar hum ek complete array pass karte hain to ye iska address ye first address ko pass karega hamare function call mein okay now this both a and b objects are pa, uh, pointing to this first address okay agar main b mein bhi kuch changes karunga to wo yahan par bhi reflect honge a mein bhi got it to bahut simple se thing hai guys you need to remember ki yahan pe jo memory allocation hai wo alag alag ho raha hai lekin yahan par hai ye ek hi same memory ko point kar raha hai got it okay so that is what is happening here guys here what i just demoed you ki maine yahan par values change kari so it will get reflected in this original array so point is guys why was why was i explaining you these things is because this will help us out now what we can do is we can keep on dividing our array into different different parts and once we get the right output like this 2 and 5 we do not need to return it back we can return hum return bhi kar sakte hain but we do not need to return it because it will automatically change okay it will automatically change its original array got it so we will use this property to solve our problem so now let's try to look into the algorithm of this case so we will try to split our task into two parts first is of this splitting okay divide and conquer so we can write this task also as divide okay we can give it as merge sort also as name you can give whatever name you want okay so let's try to give this name as divide okay so let's say we are performing this divide on this array so what are the parameters that can be required guys what can be the parameters that are required firstly is my array a okay on which i need to perform my divide now i need starting and the ending location of my array okay i can take l as this and r as this which will keep on changing l as this r as this l as this r as this right like this okay now initially l will be equal to 0 and r will be equal to what n minus 1 right right guys it will be l will be equal to 0 and and this will be n minus 1 just like we used to do in binary search now i will take two points here one is l one is r we can take low high also l and h also we can take l and r also left and right also anything we can take okay now uh, let's take l and h guys low and high that makes more sense okay now this can be as void okay now this will be passed from main 
मेन से हम इसका शुरुआत करेंगे सो आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग वट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू फर्स्टली कैलकुलेट दिस मिड पॉइंट ओके वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस मिड पॉइंट हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस मिड पॉइंट अगेन यूजिंग द सेम फॉर्मूला इंट एम इज इक्वल्स टू एल प्लस आर डिवाइडेड बाय टू और यू कैन यूज एल प्लस आर माइनस एल डिवाइडेड बाय टू एनी ऑफ दिस यू कैन यूज नाउ गाइस इफ यू सी हियर लेट्स ट्राई टू एनालाइज दिस थिंग Okay, if you see here, currently what is the value of this L and H? It is zero minus one. Let's me write all the values: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is finally seven. Okay, initially L will be equal to zero, H will be equal to n minus one. Okay, so which will be equal to Seven in this case, okay. So L is here, H is here. We need to calculate our mid. We need to calculate our mid, guys. So what it will be? Zero plus seven divided by two is three. Three point five, which will be equal to three. So my M will be here. Okay, M will be here. So my one half can be up to L from M, and another half can be M plus one to H. Right, guys? Right, guys? My one half will be L comma M, and another will be M plus one to H. Now, what I will do? I will recursively call my this method again. i will call this divide only again okay first part is keep on performing division on this first half my array a will remain as it is my l part will remain as it is l only okay but my higher end higher end for this one okay h part for this one will become what m so this is m now okay i will keep on performing this divide Again, I will perform divide on what? I will perform divide on a comma l, not l. Now this time, guys, my l becomes what? M plus one. Okay, lower half becomes M plus one and keeps on going up to h. Got it this much, guys? Everybody is able to understand. Cool. <coughs> okay. So now, excuse me, brother. I do not want to deviate from the algorithm. it will take only integer part uh, ashish it will take only three it will just ignore the rest of the part same a minute guys it was where it was now once we perform this division once we perform this division guys like i have divided this ultimately we will reach here and after that performing division we need to conquer them back we need to do what merge them back right so we will perform merge okay merge on which part if these two are arrays okay these two are arrays i need to merge them together 
so array remains as it is starting from l okay in between i have my m so i know where it is getting split and then finally h okay keep on performing this merge okay so we can keep on doing this task but how long should i keep on doing this task there is no end condition yet guys okay so how long should i keep on doing this task this merge i will write saurav abhi aapko ye samajh nahi aayega exactly but this merge is separate method that i have to write ye dekho jaisa maine divide ka algorithm abhi likha hai to isme jo merge wala part hai iske liye hame alag se algorithm likhna hoga i will come to that part so we can keep on perform everybody codes guys so you can see here we can keep on performing this task until i is less than j or until l is less than r okay if l becomes equal equal to r if l becomes equal equal to r that means we have only single element right so we can stop at that point and we can finally start performing our merge got it guys we can keep on dividing 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 until we are left with a single element so i can write here a simple condition if oh man this crashed so i can write here a very simple condition guys how long should i keep on running this if l is less than r not r h we are taking okay jab tak l h se smaller hai we can keep on performing this and after that once l and h becomes equal or greater than then we can stop greater than it will never become so using this thing we can keep on performing our divide now using this guys next step is to merge them okay now merge algorithm we need to take care guys how to perform okay now once we reach here and we are at any certain point where we want to after division merge the arrays back so let's write algorithm for that also so we will have merge which takes integer a array as input l and m and int h okay so whatever the values we were passing here array left pointer middle part and the higher part got it so now you need to be very careful here guys like how to perform this thing now this if let me take a reference guys i do not want to change yeah l and r we can use so we can use to split these two arrays we can use array a and b also array l and r also so now guys here firstly you see these values ye jo main yahan par split kar kar likh raha hu actual mein ye arrays itne smaller nahi hai okay Actu in actual i have only this single array which is of huge size now firstly i have to create these two smaller arrays okay so i can name them uh, whatever you like but i would like to keep them as small capital l and capital r so these are the name of my arrays so firstly guys i need to create these two arrays okay these two arrays l and r how can i do this i will copy these values 5 from here 2 1 7 and 3 9 6 4 and split them what is happening guys why it is crashing again and again so firstly i need to do what guys create two arrays okay create two arrays of size what and 
n1 and n2 so both will have different different sizes okay we can take n and m also n1 and n2 also but since i am already using m i will take n1 and n2 i am already using m here so now n1 is what guys how much size will be of n1 n1 ka size kya hoga guys what will be the size of this first array how we can calculate this if we have l m and h so size of my first is 0 1 2 3 4 4 right so size will be what of n1 n1 size will be what guys simply we can take m minus l plus 1 right we can take that m minus l plus 1 so like here also you can see the values here will be different guys ओके okay, यहां पर समझने की कोशिश करो लेट्स टेक दिस एग्जांपल हियर लाइक आई एम ट्राइंग टू स्प्लिट इनटू टू हाफ्स सो हियर वैल्यू ऑफ एल एंड आर विल बी व्हाट सो इंडेक्सेस विल रिमेन सेम ओनली 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 एंड 7 बिकॉज़ दिस इज माय ओरिजिनल एरे एंड नाउ आई एम ट्राइंग टू स्प्लिट इट दिस इज माय एल एंड दिस इज माय आर एंड दिस विल बी माय एम ओके दिस विल बी माय मिडिल पार्ट सो माय साइज शुड बी 2 How can I get this? I can get it. M minus L plus one. Four five minus four plus one is two. Okay, and two is the size of this array. Got it? Here also you can take three minus zero plus one, which is four. Four is the size of this array. Got it? Very simple. So n one I can get using uh, what? M minus L plus one. Okay, move oh, this and call. Ah, uh, n two guys. How can I get this second part? How can I get the second part? Now to get the second part again, its size is also two. Okay, so either I can do h minus m plus one plus one, or either I can do h minus m simply. So I can do here h minus m. okay so clear this much guys so far i am able to get the size of my both the arrays for now using this i can get the size of both the arrays guys sabhi ko kuch samajh mein aa raha hai kisi ko kuch samajh nahi aa raha okay so after this i need to create now my two arrays which is l and r just like i was creating here l and r arrays so let's create l and r arrays so which will be int l okay equals to new int size will be n1 okay int r new int size will be what n2 got it this much is clear maine do arrays bana liye apne l aur r now they do not have the actual values so first part is first part is copy values from array a from a to array l and r okay i'm just writing this statement guys in implementation i will show you how to do this so what i did just here by writing this statement that i will copy this 5 2 1 7 into array l and 3 9 6 4 into array r this much is clear guys say something okay so once i have done this thing guys once i have done this thing i need to perform now what i have just like this a and b i have my l and r okay these are my l and r okay and my output array here in this case my output array is c okay but in my this sorting part what is my output array my output array should be the original array only kyunki isi ko to sort karna hai right guys i want to sort my original array only which is given 
so my output array is array a only so finally i can say merge l and r into a got it guys got it everybody these steps so you can perform this merging algorithm that we were already using in this merge part okay and this part guys after merging you do not need to return back the array hame ye array a ko return karne ki zarurat nahi hai kyunki already parameter mein pass kare to original a ko ye already change kar dega got it so since array a is are taking call by reference it will automatically change so these all are the steps if this much is clear we will move into implementation and before that we would i would like to take a break so that you guys also can comprehend this okay so now guys the level will keep on increasing so you guys also have to level, increase your level okay now to understand everything okay so so far everything is clear very simple guys hum ek array tha we had a array we keep on dividing it dividing it dividing it until will think shali okay once i do this i need to keep on doing it until l is less than h okay i can keep on performing this divide after that i need to perform merge how to merge in merge i need to copy my first half and second half into l and r and then i need to merge them back into array a so using this concept we can completely sort our values i hope this is clear to everybody so let's take a quick break and then we will jump back so guys you need to level up yourself now also sabhi ko apna level increase karna hoga dsa ka level up dheere dheere increase hota jayega so practice more and do more recursive parts also because it will help you okay guys let's take a break let's join back at 10 10 cool okay so let's join back at 10 10 and then we will start the implementation okay thank you guys
Hello guys, I'm back here. I hope uh, everybody is back. Let's continue to learn more on more sort. Okay, so we'll see. Okay guys, now I will start with the implementation part mainly. Okay, why do I have here to open up? Okay, so swastik in merge simply I'm calling this, uh, I'm passing parameters array, left part, mid part and higher part. Firstly, I'm calculating N1 and N2, size of this L and R. Okay, size of this L and R. And then uh, I'm copying values, I'm created L and R array and I'm copying values from A to into L and R. So it's like from A5217, 3964. Once I have copied these, now I can merge them. Okay. So I'm simply merging them back using uh, this uh, thing only. That algo we have already studied. Okay, so let's try to understand this in the implementation now. You will understand better now. So let's go guys. So we have sorting. Uh, okay, I'm going to write here me. Let's take int A. Let's take the same values and try to sort these five two one seven. Nine six four. Let's take size n, which will be equals to a dot length. Okay. Now finally I will be printing my array i equals to zero semicolon size less than n semicolon i plus plus okay. this out a of i okay now guys before performing this what i need to perform i need to perform the divide part and say divide or merge sort also so i'm calling here divide in which I will pass a my initial index 0 and higher index which will be n minus 1. So let's try to create this divide now. Static void divide. Okay. And this I will take parameter a my array and lower part higher part. Okay, so while dividing I need to calculate firstly this middle which will be int m equals to L plus R, you can take this R minus L divided by 2. Okay, not R, it's H. You can take R also, guys, whatever you want. Now, using this mid, I can keep on performing this divide operation until, until my L is less than H. So, if L is less than H, I can keep on performing what? My divide part. Divide. A comma L. In first part, my L will remain as it is and my higher part will become M. So which is M. Okay, again I will perform divide in my second half, which is A. My lower half will become M plus 1, guys. And higher part will remain as it is M plus 1 and higher part. Finally, after this, I need to perform merge. Okay, merge on array A starting from L between M part and H. We need all these three variables to perform merge, guys. Okay, now I will take static void and implement this merge. And here I will take int A, array, int lower part, int middle, and int higher part. And this 
in this merge thing, firstly I need to calculate this n1 and n2, the size of my the new array that I will be taking. So first size will be m minus l plus one. So simply int n1 equals to m minus l plus one. So that is why guys I need m here to get this size and to copy values also. Okay, now I can get n2 using simply h h minus m. So 7 minus 3 is 4. So which will give me 4 elements. So which is h minus m. So this should work fine. Now let's create our two arrays int l or we can create a capital A and B also guys whatever you like. I, I will create L and R. So which will be int L is equals to new int size will be n1 okay, int r equals to new int n2 okay. now once i've done this i need to perform a first part which is copy values from a to l okay so from a let's say this is my a and i need to copy these values here so in original array guy, a guys, these are from 0 only, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and in correct order. But this new arrays, these smaller arrays will be starting from zeros. Okay. So what I mean here is these values here will be starting from these indexings will be starting from 0, 1 for this L and 0, 1 from this L. So if this is my L and R, this is my L, this is my R. So guys, you need to take care of this. Firstly, let's copy the value of L. So I will be using two different variables or I can simply use I also. Let's use I only for N1. So it will be for this half. So which will be N1. The size will be N1. So I can use here. For loop. And I equals to 0. Semicolon I is less than N1. Not N, just N1. So this is for array L. So I will say L of I, L of I equals to what? Equals to A of, A of something guys. A of, now this time it should be 4. Now next time it should be 5. So 4, then 5 and so on. So this is nothing but, this thing, if these values are I, these values can be L plus I because it is beginning from L. Right guys? My first value here is 0, 4 plus 0 is 4, next is 4 plus 1 is 5, so and so on. So I can keep here L plus I. Is this statement clear to everybody? If not, please let me know. Got it? So first part, I have A ke values copy. Kar li. Okay, now in second part, I need to copy value for r so r will again start from 0 to 1 but it will end up to n2 not n1 but n2 n2 okay i should copy values into r of i from a but this will not start from l it will start from it will start from m plus 1 guys second half is starting from m plus 1 if this ends up m this will start from m plus 1 so i can write here simply instead of l m plus one and look that can be used but here we are using somewhere from between and you should know the basics like how it is working basic logic okay okay methods there will be methods for everything but you should know how it is working so now after i have copied guys my this copy part is done Okay, now this copy part is done. Now I need to simply perform this algorithm. You remember two pointers this algorithm to merge them together. So what we used to do here, we used to run a while loop. I is less than N, J is less than M. Instead of N and M, it will be N1 and N2. And we will keep on running this for different conditions. And we can use that. So let me do one thing, guys. Let me simply copy this algo. Like uh, what I should I copy the algo or should I write it from scratch? 
okay so two pointers two pointers two pointers these two pointers Man, I'm not able to find two pointers how it can be I do not have any subfolder for two pointers okay I cop I implemented it in directly in my Newton's school uh, question I remember now so let me write it quickly no worries while I will say while I is not less than n but less than n1 and where should guys i and j start so here i and j both were starting from what zero zero right both were starting from zero zero i and j zero zero and were keep on implementing so i will take that only i is equals to zero j is equals to also zero now now let me write that until i is less than n and j is less than n2 okay, i will keep on running this also, I need to write a condition for k. Now, k should start from where? In here, my output was always starting from 0, starting from 0. But here, it is not the case, guys. My output array, my output array, because I need to merge them back up to this part. Okay, array A me mujhe merge karna hai, and it should not start from 0. Mujhe ye 0 se start nahi karna hai. Mujhe kis portion se start karna hai, guys? What should be my starting point for k for my output array? What should be my starting point for k value? Come on guys, tell me. Not m plus 1 guys, not m plus 1. Not m plus 1. It will be starting from L. Okay, m plus 1 to iska half or iska half ka beach ka part hai na, ye m1 hai wa. Hame start karna hai L se, L se, ye pura array hai, right? So this will start from L and keep on moving up to the last part. So K should start from L. Now I can write here conditions simply. Now guys, in two pointers, I was saying that uh, I've written here three conditions. So one is for if this is less, if this is less, and if both are equal. Now instead of writing a separate condition for if both are equal, I can write here less than equal to also. Because what will guys? If I say, if I try to say, if a of i is less than equal to b of j, then what will happen? Is 1 less than equal to 1? Yes. So it will copy only this one, only one once and move my ith pointer. Okay. Now, 4 is smaller or 1 is smaller? 1. So again, 1 will come and this will shift here. 4 is smaller or 3 is smaller? 3. So still my output will remain correct. Right? So I have separate condition likhne ki nahi, guys, ki a of i equal equals to b of j. I in dono mein se, in dono mein se kisi bhi ek mein equal wali condition laga sakta hu. Got it guys? Agar dono equal hai, to chahe main ye one pehle likh du, ya ye one pehle likh du. It will work fine. Got it everybody? So I won't be writing this condition now. I will be straight forwardly writing these two conditions only using less than equal to in any of it you can put equal to in any of the condition okay now let's go ahead and do this now i'll write if a of i not a here our uh, arrays are l of i is less than equal to r of j r of j and you need to do what you need to copy this value into k k of what k of a Okay, so I can write here a of k plus plus. I'm using here post increment because I need to increase this k also and the ith part also. So from L of i plus plus, I need to increment both. Else I can increment a of a plus plus equals to r of j plus plus. That's all guys. And guys, yehi modification up us merge array may be kar sakto, but I needed to tell you that time from the very basic. You can uh, remove this equal to part and put less than equal to here. Okay, now this part is done. Now, if there are some extra values remaining in the first half or second half, 
okay then i need to write two more while loops for that also so i will quickly write them so while i is less than n1 okay, then i will perform this uh, part of lth part okay and while j is less than n2 and i can perform the second part okay cool so that's all guys so i will show you all the steps once again so here we had our uh, initial array we passed their initial value 0 and n minus 1 in divide firstly we are calculating this m and we are again and again calling this divide again and again calling this divide by dividing our array into two parts okay first part is up to l to m and second part is m plus 1 to h once i have these two parts and i will keep on running it until l is less than h after that we will perform merge merge how will i perform l m and h we will be using firstly i calculated the sizes for l and m l and r my two arrays then i copied copy values from a to l okay and r so these two are the steps where i copied the values then i perform merge merge back values from l and r So this is the algorithm that I'm performing to merge. So guys, I hope this runs fine. I'm not <laughs> sure if it will, but hope so. So let's try to run this and see. So this is my unsorted array. I perform divide and I then simply trying to print them. Let's try to run this. Okay, so my array is getting completely sorted guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Cool. Works fine. Awesome. So that's how you can write merge sort. So let me share you this code. Okay, now guys, so let's talk about the time complexity of this algorithm. So let's talk about the time complexity of this algorithm. So guys, uh, what is happening here is, for given values, If this is my array A, okay, and I have some values here, okay, starting from 0 to n minus 1 and total size is n, right? Now I will be splitting it into two halves. Let me use some other, sir. two halves and again into more two halves okay and so on so firstly try to understand what kind of operations we are performing on these arrays so operations are guys mainly in merge part right okay mainly in merge part oh not this let me close this okay so operations merely are in this merge part one operation is to copy these values okay copy the values from this array to this array 
okay which will be this l and r okay one for loop is to copy this part one for loop is to copy this part and again there is one more while loop which will be running only up to this complete both these two arrays one will be running up to this complete part right to merge them back merge them back so total it will be around 2n which will be okay just uh, let's take it as 2n now guys here here it is not completely 2n it is this is n by 2 for this part and this is n by 2 but n by 2 plus n by 2 will become n only right here it is n by 4 n by 4 n by 4 n by 4 but n by 4 into 4 will become again n only okay if i round off this to n only so this will become total will be n here also total will be n right so total n n n n n each time it will be n n n only total it will sum up up to n part only right guys now how long i am performing this that is another thing like how long i kept on dividing it and then kept on performing this much so if this is this way what is the total height of my this tree what is the height how long i'm keeping on performing this part until i'm left with one right guys <coughs> so initially my array was n okay then it became n by 2 then it became n by 4 then it became n by 8 and so on until we are left with one value okay two values four values and so on so this is happening what guys this is decreasing exponentially okay so height of our tree is what height of our tree is log n okay so total time complexity becomes we are performing n operation n number of operation how many times log n times so our total time complexity becomes we go of n log n got it everybody everybody is able to follow up this thing now that this is why it is one of the fastest algorithm okay mersort is one of the fastest algorithms guys because in insertion sort it was n square okay if you remember the time complexity it was n square space complexity was big of one here time complexity was big of n square and space complexity was big of one now in merge sort time complexity has improved it is big of n log n but what about the space complexity guys what about the space complexity what about the space complexity guys come on tell me is it one is it what so Kush, kushabu says we go fun so if you see if you see here guys we are using two extra arrays here one is array l and another is array r size of this this r n1 and n2 but some of these n1 and n2 becomes n only right so it will be big of n okay so big of n space is being used more here got it so again it is kind of time space trade-off here we have increased space to optimize time got it guys so this is how mersort works and you can use it I hope this is clear to everybody and guys try to practice more questions related to recursion and there will be more like tomorrow we are going to learn about quick sort it will be also using recursion so now 
नाउ गाइज अब खुद सोचो सो गाइज ट्राई टू थिंक विल यू बी एबल टू स्प्लिट दिस टास्क इन टू मोर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पार्ट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पार्ट वेर यू डू नॉट नो हाउ विल इट एंड वेर इट विल एंड ओके सो दिस टास्क बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डू विद इट्रेशन यूजिंग फोर लुप्स राइट आई कैन नॉट डू दिस यूजिंग फोर लुप्स आई कैन डू बट इट विल बी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ओके तो अभी आपको ये समझ में आ रहा होगा इस की अगर मैं ये जो डिविजन वाला पार्ट जो मैंने करा अगर मुझे मैनुअली फोर लूप से करना होगा सोचो भाई ये कितना कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होगा बट इन रिकर्जन आई नो आई नो दट द सेम टास्क दट आई एम डूइंग फॉर द कंप्लीट एरे आई कैन डू फॉर अ स्मॉलर एरे आई कैन डू फॉर अ स्मॉलर एरे सो वट आई एम डूइंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू फॉर्म अ सब प्रॉब्लम ऑफ माई करंट प्रॉब्लम गॉट इट आई एम ट्राइंग टू स्प्लिट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डिवाइड माई करंट टास्क और प्रॉब्लम इन टू स्मॉलर पार्ट गॉट इट गाइज and then then i'm getting back conquering back the results from each part and storing them together merging them together that is why it is using this approach called divide and conquer got it everybody is it clear now i hope this is good now we can jump on to some questions okay we do not have any thing here do not know why so okay we had here i do not know if it is appearing on the dashboard or not so okay we have lot of lot of assignments currently the pass assignments is not showing that one okay don't like this soldo okay let's see this uh, more sort in class okay so guys i do not want to take this number of merge this is a good question this number of merge is a good question but uh, this does not make sense to take it just right away first you need to like go through this merge and take more uh, understanding of it more comprehend okay i won't be taking currently the merge sort uh, problem guys because it will be too much for you kyunki abhi to aapne merge sort samajhne ki koshish kar rahe ho agar uske application directly karoge it will be it will just blow your head okay you won't be able to understand anything so let's take some other uh, assignment okay any any particular assignment guys you want to you want me to take any particular assignment recursion recursion but i have already taken okay where is recursion can somebody help me out here recursion recursion can somebody help me guys okay here we have is it uh, in class or okay so just give me a minute guys something is biting okay so we have taken already this problem right this multiplication part i have already solved right guys that's a big by why anand that's a big big why i mean these questions are good but uh, little bit timeline is not uh, kind of correct how to tell okay so this also we have done right this palindrome we have already done right like how to check for palindrome i think we have done it uh we re try to go through it uh, we have already done it using recursion so next was uh, next is what merge okay okay given to sorted array your task is to merge these two array this also we have done right yeah i will be taking just give me a minute
Okay, this one is what is this? And given an array of size n, your task is to count the number of triplets in array i, array j, and array k such that i, j, k, and the difference between okay this is related to two pointers okay okay cool cool i i thought that this is not related to recursion okay this is not related to recursion guys this is related to two pointers if you want i can take it or we can take some recursion problems from post also okay, it was post 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 why is it Abhishek. Uh, they have their own perspective like uh, if you try to solve difficult questions it will help you out more try an obby number okay i can take this but again the problem is that uh, firstly before taking try an obby tribunaki number i needed to take fibonacci and fibonacci is not taken so quite messed up okay so maybe i can even take this let's let's see okay so output for four is one what is one how the output of four is one sample input seven is seven i'm not getting this give me a minute guys the tn is the sum of the preceding three elements in a series consider its first three numbers to be zero and zero that is t of one is zero t of two is zero okay it starts from zero zero and finally three is one but t of four should be what t of four is what Okay, so it is a uh... I got it, I got it, I got it guys. So let's try to understand. So we should have put it we should have put it here recursion, which is tribal key number. Okay, guys, so tribonaki so let me try to tell you firstly what is fibonacci okay so fibonacci numbers are a series where every other number is a sum of its previous two numbers so it will start from zero and one now next it will be sum of this zero and one is one one plus one is two two plus one is three three plus two is five five plus three is 8 8 plus 5 is 11 and so on so this is what this is fibonacci number so tribonacci is like that only okay tribonacci is that like that only instead of two numbers they are taking here three numbers sum of three numbers and initial three numbers are not 0 1 2 but they are 0 0 and 1 so they are saying 0 0 1 these are your initial numbers now next sum will be 0 plus 0 plus 1 is what guys 1 let me take some other color so it is 1 so now 0 plus 1 plus 1 is what 2 1 plus 1 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 4 11 plus 2 is 13 got it guys question samaj mein aage sabhi ko simply they are trying to say this is t of 1 this is t of 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so answer for t of 7 is 7 got it so for t of 7 output is 7 t of 4 is 1 got it guys we can confirm it by testing out with this t of 8 should be 13 if i'm understanding it correctly my answer for 8 should be 13. 
Okay, so this is 13 guys. Got it? This much is clear to everybody? Come on guys, say something. This is clear to everybody? Okay, now what I need to do here is uh, let's see. So we can sort of do what? We can write a recursive function because they want me to do it using recursion. This can iteration also, but we will be doing using recursion. So let's see. What can we do? So in recursion, just like these three variables, we will keep on passing. Okay, we will sort of keep on passing variables to this. So let me see guys how we can do it. So in recursion, let's say uh, I'm writing this uh, method as name as fun only. Let's write it as name fun. So fun. I'm not deciding what will be my variable set guys. Okay. But let's say one variable will be int n. Okay. n is my t of this up to n I'm considering the variables that is given. So I can write here simply one condition if n equal equals to 0. What should I return here? A 0 cannot be. Okay. n cannot be 0. It will start from 1. So here in constraint also you can see it will start from 1 up to 20. So starting from 1. Okay. I should return for 1. I should return 0. Right. For 2. I should return 0. Again. Right. So I can write here two conditions together guys. If n equal equals to 1 or n equal equals to 2. I should return here simply. Return what guys? Return 0. Right? This much is clear. First part. Very basic condition. Everybody say something so that I can know. Okay? Now, Subhani very simple. Agar n1 hai ya 2 hai. Agar n1 hai ya 2 hai, mera output 0 hona chahiye. So, I am returning here 0. Simply. That's it. And since I am returning here some value guys, my return type should be integer. Now, next condition I can write if n equal equals to what? If n equal equals to 3, my output should be 1. Okay, cool. Because I initially I need 3 values directly. I cannot calculate them. These are fixed. So, if n equal equals to 3, I can return what? 1. Okay. Else, else I can return what? Let's say I want to calculate for 7. Okay, t of 7. So, t of 7 will be what guys? It will be t of 6 plus t of what? 5 plus t of 4, right? Right guys, for 7 it will be t of 6 plus t of 5 plus t of 4, right? Here, this t, this t is representing this fun. Okay, this is nothing but fun. Fun of 7, instead it is n. Okay, this is equal to what? Fun of, this is what? If this is n, this is what? n minus 1 plus fun of n minus 2 plus fun of n minus 3. That's it. That's it, guys. Okay? Got it, everybody? This thing? So, currently, so currently, if n is not 1, n is not 2, n is not 3, how? what should I return here? I should simply return for this particular n, this thing here, guys. I can return fun of n minus 1 plus of n of fun of n minus 2 plus fun of n minus 3. Got it? That's all. That's all guys. This It should work fine using this logic. I think it should work fine. Okay. Let's try it out. So here, let me take the input first, which will be a single integer. So let's take int n is equals to, uh, not int n. Firstly, I need to create scanner here. Scanner s is equals to new. Scanner 
system not in cool so n equals to c dot next int cool now i want to print system dot out dot print well, then what i can directly call here for my fun and pass here n okay now let's create our fun so static fun int n as an input now i can write here if n equal equals to 0 or n no n cannot be 0 guys n can be 1 or 2 so 1 or 2 right here 1 or n equal equals to 2 i should return what guys i should return here also you can see for t of 1 equals to 0 for t of 2 it is 0 so return 0 if n equal equals to 2 not 2 3 and i should return return what return 1 so we have written these three base conditions t of 1 equals to 0 t of 2 also equals to 0 t of 3 equals to 1 thanks vinay it will be int else in last part i need to return something return what sum of preceding three elements preceding last three elements so which will be one of n minus one plus one of n minus two plus one of n minus three so let's try to run this case i hope this runs fine so let's take uh, this seven as an input on this so which is seven cool let's try to run this okay so i hope this runs fine cool guys works absolutely fine awesome okay these diwali bombs are still here guys <laughs> cool okay i'm sharing with this code Let me paste here the name also Okay, guys, I have one more task for you because we are running out of time already. Return type for fun, I have already put uh, Vinay. Okay, so it isn't. Okay, now I'm, 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 I was saying send the link of Slack discovery batch. Prakash, you can try to ping me. Okay, I will try to add you. But guys, uh, I want you to do one thing. Like, try to solve this problem for this Fibonacci not for tribonaki you can solve for tribonaki also you can try to solve this fibonaki without recursion using just simple for loops okay guys try to solve it for the fibonaki number got it everybody using without recursion okay let me see gosh if you are here guys most of you are already even here Uh, are you this uh, Prakash? Prakash Verma, are you this? Prakash. Okay, added. That's all. Anybody else who's not added? And guys, now it's time for you to practice more and more stuff. So that's all. Uh, if there is any other, Shali. So guys, try to ping me your uh, DM your names so that I can help you out because I'm posting everything here. Shivani uh, Kulhare is there. So guys, uh, whosoever is not added, please. Uh, Rohan, you are already there. Subhani, I think you are also there. Subhani, you are there. 
uh, I was saying, uh, Shali. Shali, you are already there. Shali, you are already there. Guys, I firstly go and check because you most of you people are already there. Saksham Mandari. Okay, so that's all, guys. How to do practice question? <laughs> like I'm already explaining ki pehle, first try to understand the question, then try to come up with the approach using pen and paper, and then try to implement it. Mostly you can follow these steps. Ultimately, Subhani, there is no like magical thing here. Ye grind kar kar kar, dhere dhere start kar kar. You have to do it. From where we get the question? I didn't I didn't get your question. Indrajit, you are already there. Mac, I think switch case should pass all the cases. We will see, we will see. And uh, I cannot take... Uh, no, no, Subhani, those are okay. But uh, again, I was saying that you guys can practice on other websites also, like Hacker Rank and Hacker Earth. There you can filter out questions in problem solving and DSA with particular topics also and with levels also easy, medium, hard. I you this demo guys. Like you can try Hacker Rank and Hacker Earth, practice uh, problem solving and DSA there also. Lead code, any, anything you can use guys, but I'm saying for simplicity, I, I like, I personally like hacker rank because it's simple, hai, bahut achha graphical user interface, hai. filter kar sakte easier problem se. So it's good. You can solve there uh, for Java questions also and a lot of stuff you can learn. Just keep practicing more and more questions you will be getting then only it's, there's no shortcut and there is no magical way guys. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. Tomorrow there won't be any morning session. I have to think about morning session, guys. Actually, I'm quite occupied these days. My office ka task thoda zada ho gaya, thoda aajkal. Ghar par bhi guest and lot of things are happening in my life. So we'll we'll think. Else, I will try to take a session on the weekend, maybe. Ab main yes weekend lena chahta tha, then you guys wanted to enjoy Diwali. Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, so no, Nikhil, obviously no. Yeah, Shadi ke biche pada. Thank you, Rohan. Yeah, everybody noticed this chair for sure. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you. Yeah, sort of. You can see everybody can see that, but uh, I'm not using it. Actually, uh, uske screws uh, loose ho gaye. So that's all. Okay, guys. So take care. Thank you. Keep coding. Keep grinding. Keep learning. Bye-bye. Take care.